Hi, it's me, Rashid, coach, speaker and author, and welcome to this, to my third tip of my top 10 tips for the 2020s. This whole series is about helping us to be and to get the richness out of this um, decade and knowing that there's likely to be uncertainty and um, change, challenges, um, we're wanting to be prepared for opportunities and able to shape opportunities. And that leads us beautifully to tip number three, which is all about readiness. Readiness is, if you like, is a combination of planning and preparedness and the, uh, and the ability to be spontaneous, to, um, to see something, to spot that, that something isn't an is an opportunity. So this is really interesting. And this is where our awareness that we started off as tip number one and our openness with tip number two really helps us because we already are beginning to get ready. But this readiness means that I need to plan, it means that I need to prepare, it, need, it means that I need to practice in order to move further forward. In the book Soul Trader, one of the things that I talk about in chapter three, Courage, is all about adopting the attitude of an athlete. Athletes are perhaps, of all of the different professions, are the people who most link whether what their aspirations are to the work that needs to be done in order to achieve that. And they know also as athletes, as sports people, that there can be all sorts of other factors that can impact in terms of success and progress. They're very, very aware of it. So they're really, really good for us to be aware of and to study when it comes to this thing about readiness. That they'll plan their practice and that they and they'll perform at their best and that they are constantly um, reviewing and fine-tuning fine that fine-tuning, which is what I invite you to do. This readiness. This readiness and readiness means that we need to again have this openness and this mindset of can do by backing oneself but linking that also to knowing what the work is that needs to be involved in things so I remember at some points earlier in my career when I was changing career first becoming a singer whilst I knew there were some things I needed to do I don't think I was as thorough as I could be at really researching my industry, networking with other people, and really being primed, learning from other people, perhaps getting mentors as I could be, that would help me to be really ready in order to get the best out of myself. Those things I learned during, during the path, and of course, that's very natural, but perhaps I could have done even more to give me that readiness. And that's when our earlier tips, together with readiness itself, really help us to really to, um, to get to that really enriched place where we're able to, um, uh, to, to do of our best and to um, and seek out opportunities and spot opportunities. So this thing about readiness means that I've already done the, put in the work, I've been planning, I've been practicing, and it means that therefore I'm really ripe, I'm readier than everybody else. Readiness, my first tip with that is to reflect on the things that you're doing. When you're going things to, to meeting at work and so on, are you the kind of person who's always plan prepared, you've got your paperwork, you've got the book work that you might be needing, that you need there, you might have, you've got all the other tools that you need, that you're ready, you're right. What's the attitude that you're showing up with? Are you the kind of person who's sat around like this, you're distracted, or you're already present? I have a saying that you're always on stage until you're at home. I often say this in my workshops now, you're always on stage until you're, uh, um, until you're at home, because this gives you that kind of focus, that kind of clarity that also um, presents out to everybody else that you're ready, that you're prepared. And even though life will bring along situations that we cannot prepare for, changes and so on, the work that you've done earlier means that you are in a really good state in order to be able to make things happen or to respond to things that are really happening. Readiness is tip number three of my top 10 tips for success and progress and for sustaining yourself throughout the 2020s. And guess what? One last thing to say about this. It's likely to be the case that this um, readiness is going to be absolutely key for us throughout this decade because there are likely to be all sorts of changes in technology. There are all sorts of challenges that we're faced with environmental, uh, environmentally, ecologically, that means that we do need to be very, very, very ready. So we're going to need to be really, really sharp. We may not, um, uh, taking, for example, things like technology and AI, we may, uh, AI, we may not, artificial intelligence, we may not even know what our jobs are going to be and um, what, what careers that they're going to be around in come the end of this um, um, decade or even come the middle of it, which is why these qualities that we've already talked about, awareness, 
openness and then this readiness, which is really that ripeness, which is where we're adopting the attitude of an athlete, means that we're able to adapt, which means that we are best prepared as we can be as we move forward this decade of the 2020s. See you soon for our next tip. Take good care. Bye-bye.